Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and video review of this brand new smartwatch that I just got. So this smartwatch is a heart rate monitor, it's a real-time blood oxygen monitor, a fitness tracker, and it's waterproof. It has a two to three day work time when the battery, so you don't have to charge it too often. It's just like a super long standby battery. It's also um, has a 1.9 inch screen, so it's perfect size for anyone, um, any wrist size. Um, on the back here, it just does have a little bit more of what I was talking about. So it shows a little bit about the blood oxygen monitor, the heart rate tracking, um, scientific sleep. It's gonna track your sleep and help you um, know how well you're sleeping at night and improve your sleep status and it also has a hrv alert to let you know that if you have any abnormal heart activity so i'm going to go ahead and open up the box it's a simple box this just slides right off Oops. and the manual was right on top here so it just says watch ve that's the model that it is um, it just shows a few pictures, the different kinds of buttons that it has um, in all different languages. It shows you the app to install, the health app to connect to Wi-Fi, um, how to pair your watch with your phone, and the main screen. On the back here, it's just more information in different languages. So you have everything you need there to get your watch up and running right away. So here is the box, just a little cover right there, and this is the watch itself. So it does have just some padding to keep the watch safe, and it has a protective cover that we'll remove in a second, and it already has the band on it. So this is just like a soft silicone band. Um, it has a lot of different notches, so it's very adjustable and can adjust to your wrist. And I'm just going to put the watch on the side right now because there's a few more items in the box. So it has the charging cable inside here to charge your watch, which this actually um, has just a regular USB there. And this watch actually just sits right on top of that cable. So that'll snap on. It does have magnets. So when you want to charge it, you would just put your watch right out. You would undo it um, so that it lays flat and plug it right in and it has another band as well. So if you're not a fan of that silicone, um, soft, flexible, like rubber feel, then it has this band as well, which is um, kind of like a fabric um, with Velcro. So two different option bands um, based on what you'd like. And the Velcro is also very um, flexible, so it'll just kind of snap on. You can adjust it however you want and make it as tight as you would like. And this is just where the screen would snap on. This little piece, the watch screen would connect to these two right here. So it would sit right in the center. All right, so that is the watch band. Let's take another look at the watch. I'm just gonna peel off the protective coating there. So here you can see some of the sensors and those sensors are what is gonna um, help you with all the health parts of the app. So those are gonna help read your blood oxygen level, your heart rate as you're working out. Um, all those little sensors right there are what is uh, going to monitor your health. So there's the two buttons on the side. This is a touch screen watch. So everything else is touch screen, but it does have two buttons, um, which we'll get into how to use. I believe one is power and one is just a toggle on the screen. But I'm gonna go ahead and charge the watch and download the app, and then we'll take a look at how it works. Okay, so here is the watch. I just turned it on. And so as you can see, it has um, an analog clock setting, which you can change the clock face um, to suit your preference size. It can be digital or analog. There's also just two separate buttons on the side. Um, so the one button just kind of turns it on and goes to the menu screen. And then it is touch screen. So you can kind of scroll up and scroll down. You can see all these different awesome settings. Um, I do have it set as you can see, I use the app on my phone that connects to it to set as female. I put in my um, stats in there so that it will read all of everything correctly, like blood oxygen levels and heart rate, and um, it'll be accurate based on me. So here's, you can see like you would do the outdoor workout, you can do outdoor run, outdoor walk to track your different um, activities. 
So stair stuffer, outdoor cycle. So if you were to pick something, you can just do outdoor run. Um, and this is all for the touch screen as well. See, it's already tracking. Um, I'm not running right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and X out of that. And yes, we would like to finish. So then you can check your sleep status, how well you slept that night, if you had the watch on while you were sleeping, um, how many minutes of deep sleep and how many minutes of regular sleep. So we're gonna go back into the menu. Just by using the button on the side brings you right back. We can test out the heart rate and the blood oxygen level. I'm gonna do a few of those in a minute and see how they work. You can set it up to be connected to your emails, use it as an alarm, as a stopwatch, just start and stop. Um, you can just go right back, back to the menu. A timer, you can use it to find your phone. If you lost your phone, just press that button. You can sync it right to your phone through the app again and it'll find where you left it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try the blood oxygen level and some of those features. And those are all going to be used through this sensor right on the back here. Okay, so when you're doing your heart rate or your blood oxygen level, you really wanna make sure that the watch is nice and tight on your wrist so that those sensors can really read as accurately as possible. So I have it right on. And they also say to try not to move too much so it can get a really accurate reading. As you can see the heart in the bottom is kind of beating taking my heart rate right now and then it'll pop up with a number in a few minutes there it is uh, 91 heartbeats per minute so kind of fluctuating there it's probably just because I'm talking a little bit but it's, if you sit still then it um, will read it really accurately so then we could also check out just press the button on the side to go back to the main screen and you could do blood oxygen level same thing they say that you should kind of sit still um, and let it read as accurately as possible so we'll see what the result is going to be also i'd like to just point out that this rubber band that it came with the watch band is really nice and uh comfortable it's tight on my wrist it doesn't feel like it's sliding off at all and there you go 98 percent. so my blood oxygen is really good um but yeah the band is really comfy um it's nice on my wrist i have a small wrist so i have it kind of full um almost to the top there but it's really adjustable and oh, see i moved too much during that so it turned off but it seems to work really well again you can just press the buttons Kind of scroll through um, and all of this information is also going to go right onto the app once you have it on your phone so it'll sync right there and you can um, get all your readings on the app as well